TV6 investigates private pay medical practices and the gaps they're filling across Upper Michigan. The options for medical care can be limited by remoteness and shrinking medical workforce. They become especially small when we're limited by what our insurance covers. And physicians across the country are finding new ways to fill the gaps between the care you need and how far insurance will reach, as you'll see in this consumer investigation. These providers are calling it a movement, and they say the option makes a difference that is especially apparent in places like the UP. There's a fear of accessing health care. It's so confusing to patients. And they just, people will just pay it because it's easier. Take care of the patient and the rest shall follow. Those like Kristen Andre, who have spent their lives dedicated to healing people, say nationwide that slipped out of focus. Lately, Andre says that focus has shifted to the bill. The medical world in general is kind of overworked. And it's not necessarily set up in the best interest of the patient. Andre is a physical therapist at Innovative Therapy in Nagani, a division of Superior Rehab. She has 25 years of experience as a PT. She says the cost of insurance is a big barrier for many patients, leading them to seek alternatives. The costs of providing good health care to employees has skyrocketed, as well as deductibles co-pays and out-of-pocket costs. At North Country Health, doctors Katie and Ryan Brang say their patients echo the same frustration. I think one of the biggest things we've seen is the cost of health insurance has gone up a lot. And we hear that, we've heard that from our patients over the years, but really we hear about it a lot now. But with private pay models, they too say the cost is up to the patients. Private pay models aim to personalize care and put it in the hands of the patient with membership fees. With several aims, better accessibility, convenience, and affordability. For example, adults ages 45 and older can pay $95 a month for a North Country Health membership. Our patients know exactly how much it's going to cost to see us. If we do labs, they know ahead of time how much it's going to be. And we look around the state actually for cash pay options if people want that. So we can send them to a place where we know exactly how much an imaging study is going to cost. That includes a full list of services with small fees for lab tests. Some people I've saved them hundreds of dollars on labs. And so enough so that it almost offsets what they pay me every month. Um, other people, we can save them money on meds, especially being able to like help them research different ways to get meds cheaper. You can save hundreds of dollars that way. According to Forbes Health, a patient who is new to an area waits more than three weeks to get an appointment with a primary care physician covered by traditional insurance. Now that's because that physician can see up to 40 patients a day for on average no more than 15 minutes at a time. They'll start to pile up. In Upper Michigan, private pay practices see just six to ten patients a day and can spend at least 30 minutes with each. We don't take as many patients because we don't have to wait for insurance companies to pay us, which allows us to spend more time with people. It's just a win all around. Brang says that average time spent waiting for an appointment is between one week to 20 minutes. For example, a, a small child maybe slashed his arm and needed some stitches on a Saturday afternoon. Quick phone call and I can say, yeah, I'll meet you at the clinic. I'll, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Now tomorrow I speak to a woman who after 60 years of using medical care covered by traditional insurance is transitioning to more private pay options. And we explore what is known as concierge medicine and its growing importance in the community.